Welcome to another episode of REI TV, where we bring you all the real estate investing help that we can muster. I'm Nick Safoni, your host, and today is Newbie Tuesday. Newbie Tuesday is when we help the new investor by giving them some tips and ideas. I remember back when I was a brand new investor and hungry for information and really ready to get going. There's so many different sources that say so many different things, yet it's hard to sort them out. So I'm going to kind of go by my experience and teach you the things that I wish I had and show you some things that I think might help you move along. So every Tuesday, that's what we do. We help the new investor. We give the bare basics, things that we hope you'll understand. And of course, you can always send us an email if you have any questions. I don't promise I get to all of them. I get a lot of emails, um, over 100 a day at this point, but I'll do my best. Um, what we want to talk about is types of deals, teaching different types of deals. I can't tell you what's going to work the best for you. I can't tell you what type of deals to do, but I can tell you the different types and kind of give you how much risk is involved and let you kind of sort them out for yourselves. Uh, first off is bird dogging. Many investors start off as a bird dog, also known as a house scout. Bird dogging is it's the simplest form of investing. It's basically absolutely no risk. It's when you find homes for sale and you bring those homes to other investors. No, you don't literally pick them up and move them. I know, bad jokes. But uh, you give the information to other investors. Different investors have different criteria. Some of them want the address of the house, pictures of the house, owner's name. They also want selling price. And some will go even further. Some investors even want you to do some of the first initial um negotiations on the property. That's not what I do with our bird dogs. We have a lot of bird dogs, mostly in the Illinois area, but we also have some out of state because we do deals all over the nation if they're right. And um, we just ask our bird dogs to give us the address, the selling price, the name of the seller, the phone number of the seller, and some basic information about the property. You know, how many bedrooms, if they know that, what kind of shape it's in. Um, you also ask them to have pictures available in case we need it. But basically what a bird dog does is you just find deals. And there's lots of different ways. And I am going to have a, um, it might be a newbie Tuesday, it might not, but I am going to have an entire session strictly devoted to bird dogs where we'll just teach how to do bird dogging. The next step up is wholesaling. And wholesaling, to me, it's the easiest way to make money in this business. I've made $20,000 for 15 minutes worth of work wholesaling properties. Wholesaling is when you take the bird dogging a step further and instead of just finding the property and turning it over to another investor. And you know, let me show you something while I'm thinking about it. Um, my first deal ever was a bird dog deal. Let me see if I can find the check for it. I saved it. I used to have it hanging on the wall here. Um, Bird dogs typically make $500 to $1,000 a deal, is, is about what the average is. And, um, huh. I don't seem to have a copy of it. Whoa! <laughs> Things get out of hand, huh? Um, no, I know I have a copy of it. I was pretty excited at the time. It was my first deal. I made 500 bucks, And I did nothing. Here it is. I don't know how well you can see that there, but that was my first check ever. I made 500 bucks as a bird dog, and um, I'd say it was the last bird dog deal I did too. I was like, funny story uh, about it is um, it was a cheap little house in a suburb here with, that's very, very inexpensive, and the house was worth about 50 grand, and I made a... $20,000 offer on this house and it was turned down. They, they said, no way. So I turned the deal over to an experienced investor who ended up buying it for $14,500. Um, they wouldn't take my $20,000 but they took his fourteen. dollars And that's all goes to show really a lot of what you do is in the, um, in the offer. How you make the offer, how you present yourself, that type of thing. Obviously I didn't present myself right. 